Understanding Rotation Vectors, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting concept, rotation vectors. This topic might sound complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. So, whether you're a student, a professional, or just curious about English, this video is for you. A rotation vector is a term often used in physics and mathematics. It represents the rotation of an object in a three-dimensional space. The key components of a rotation vector are magnitude and direction. The magnitude tells us how much the object is rotated, usually measured in degrees or radians. And the direction shows the axis around which the object rotates. Let's dive deeper into the components of a rotation vector. Magnitude. This is the amount of rotation. A larger magnitude means a greater rotation. Direction. It indicates the axis of rotation. Imagine a line that the object spins around. This is the direction of the rotation vector. To better understand rotation vectors, let's look at some real-life examples. Earth's rotation. Earth rotates around an axis, which can be represented by a rotation vector. Gyroscopes in smartphones. These devices use rotation vectors to determine the orientation of your phone. Rotation vectors are not just theoretical. They have practical applications in various fields. Engineering. Used in designing machinery and vehicles. Computer graphics, essential for animation and game development. Robotics, helps in controlling the movement of robots. I hope this video has helped you understand what a rotation vector is and how it's used in different fields. Remember, learning English can open doors to fascinating concepts like this. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.